serious tension in Zamfara State as protesters ask President Bola Tinibu to sack Minister Matawale. Let's see why. Let's see the reasons. On Tuesday, hundreds of unhappy women and young people from Zamfara State protested at the Department of Security Service headquarters in Abuja complaining about the increasing insecurity in, Niger in their state and Nigeria in general. They blame the former governor of Zamfara and current minister of state for defense, Bello Matawale, for the rise in bandit activities. They said this was because of his alleged support for the bandits during his time as governor. The protesters who arrived in about 12 long buses at 10.15 a.m. were stopped from entering the security agency building. This protest came a month after the Zamfara State chapter of the All Progressive Congress asked the federal government to declare a state of emergency in the state to help fight badintry. More effectively, holding signs that said, we are dying and the DSS save us from bandits. The protesters also called on the DSS Director General Adiola Ajayi to take action, speaking to the press men, the protesters or the protest leader Mala Musa Mahmoud expressed frustration that President Bola Ahmed Tinibu had not removed Bello Matawale as minister despite evidence from Governor Dauda Lawa. Mahmoud, who is also the chairman of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Akida Forum, urged that Matawale be investigated and not given special treatment because of his loyalty to the president. The issues here are not just political problems. They are matters of life and death, economic survival, and the fundamental human rights of the citizens of Zamfara State that should not be handled lightly. The indigenous people of Brafa said they want the DSS to conduct a thorough investigation to save millions of Nigerians and safeguard the integrity of the president, the person of Bola Tinibu, and the intelligence community. The agency is in the best position to advise President Bola Tinibu to relate or to relieve Matawale of his position to face an investigative panel and clarify his connection with dangerous individuals like Bello Tagoji, Musa Kamarawa, and Andrun Adun Zuru. These are not abstract 
concerns Zafara citizens have the right to live free from the constant threat of banditry and violence. These issues should be at the forefront of any reasonable Nigerians who means well for the country. He said, when reached for a comment, Matawale's media assistant, Hamid Dan Udi, did not answer multiple calls and had not responded to the message sent about the allegations against his boss at the time of publication, security agencies have been taking various steps to address the rising insecurity in Zafara State, which has been heavily affected by banditry. Mahmoud, who is also the chairman of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Akida Forum, urged that Matawale be investigated and not given special treatment because of his loyalty to Mr. President. The issues here are not just political problems. They are matters of life and death. The state has long been a hot spot for violent attacks, kidnappings, and killing by armed, rob, armed, armed groups, causing widespread fear and displacement among residents. In response, security force, including the Nigerian Army, police, and the Develop and the Department of State Service have intensified their operations in the region. The federal government has de deployed more troops to Zamfara State in an attempt or effort to clamp down on the bandit and restore peace. Military operations have included aerial bomb share, which is also bombardment and ground assault, or unknown hideout of criminal groups, as well as the establishment of checkpoints along key route to curb the governments of bandits. Guys, kindly share your view on this on the comment section below. And also, do not forget to please subscribe to Bliss channel. Thank you.